In today's episode, can we take our newly reinvigorated and retrained armies up into the north to restart the war with the Antigonids and finally break their influence over Greece for one last time? Or will the results still be the same? Will they still be brutally, brutally strong? We shall see. Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are back with another Epirus campaign video in RTR Imperium Serectum episode 9, I believe. And last time we fought another massive battle outside of Pella that is defended now by a, a stalwart Athenian army that just stands outside Pella paying its respects <laughs> but we did get a ceasefire with the antigonids and that has allowed us to come back with all our troops and potentially reform our armies to be a lot better than what they were and you know get together two pretty much full stacks now which is awesome awesome to see so we are going to have some nice armies going forward some really strong ones as well and we are going to go back to war with the antigonids as soon as possible hopefully taking out these two stacks in the process but i guess we'll find that out but anyway guys if you are enjoying this series it would be amazing if you could give this episode a like um on the video that would be unreal if you are enjoying this series but anyway let's get into the action with an end turn and let's see whether the antigonids do actually decide that they want to re-up the war that they paid us so much money to end. Oh, hello, Pionia. I guess those threats you were making have actually come true. <laughs> silly, silly bastards. But anyway, what imbeciles? Like, do they really think they're strong enough to take us on? That does annoy me, kind of, because I don't really want to deal with this right now. I want to deal with the Antigonids. But that might change our plans somewhat. What is in this army? Agrianian infantry, interesting unit, armor-piercing weapon as well. Um, Thracian slingers, which are fine. Agrianian archers that are very good. So a decent little army, but little is the uh, <laughs> emotive word there. Oh, these guys haven't been retrained. Neither has half... How have I done this? Like, how have I made it so that half of these guys haven't been trained? But anyway, I think we've got enough anyway to set up an army. So let's get Alexander on... Which way is he going to go if he goes up here? It's going to go around that way. So we'll set up over this side. Now let's get our good phalangites now. We've got three units at least of them. Uh, any more for any more? No, is that the only... We've only got three of the Ambracio phalangites. Well, that's fine. Another one can go into Iskirion's army. But let's also have a look at what we want. Potentially we want those three Zistaphoroi definitely in there. We'll also take, thinking two Prodromoi this time for the army. Not any more than that. Now, missile troops-wise, what do we have available to us? A couple of Akontistai that'll be good for garrisoning. I'm going to take this archer. I'm also going to pick up an archer from this side too. So we've got at least two archers, plus two of the Agrianian infantry, because they're pretty darn good. I do really like them. Very nice unit indeed. So we need si uh, seven more troops, not eight, because we're going to pick up that archer. So what do we want to go with the composition? Now I'm thinking, let's take the Thurio Foroi. So we'll take two Thurio Foroi. Oh, we don't have two. Hmm. How far can you walk now? Okay, not far at all. So one more Thurio Foroi is going to be done. So again, we only need six. So let's take three more Deuteroi, four more Deuteroi. So then we're going to take one Archer, one Thurio Foroi, another Thurio Foroi. So let's get that other Thurio Foroi in there too. Let's go for that. And then, yeah, an Archer and a Thurio Foroi plus another Deuteroi, I think. But I'll take a more experienced one if we have them. Two experience there. Because, like I said previously, they're not exactly a fantastic unit. They're not awful, but they're not fantastic. And let's go forward up towards Pionia. Do we have any generals nearby? You are the only one, really, that I can think of. So what do we have available here? I don't think we need to waste money on that. I think if we do this battle, 
we won't be that far off from winning. And they don't have any siege equipment yet. So if we do need to do that battle, then that will be fine. These guys are all retrained. Let's get you in there. And you actually can't fit. So, and then let's retrain all the rest of them. They will also have another Ambrachio Phalangite here. So a few Phalangites. Not so much cavalry, unfortunately. But that's fine. We've got another Deuteroy over here. So we definitely want to get you in there. We're getting another Thurioforoi there too. Thurioforoi in here. And some Prodromoi. And more archers. Plus what in Larissa? Anything in Larissa? No. So let's go for some Akontistai for governing. And that will be juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Very nice and very glorious, my friends. Agent detected. Aetolians are now looking to attack us. Uh, Paonia and Epirus. Ellis and the Greek city-states. And Paonia and the Greek city-states have broken their alliance. So at least the Greek city-states are actually, you know, on our side, it would seem. Ducalos now has a prince, uh, priest of Saturn. That's really going to help his uh, governance. Fantastic. Very nice to see. Now, we've built in a few different places. Pasaron got the crop rotation, so that should help with the growth. Uh, but mainly, we want to build in, say, Athens and our recruitment hubs. So let's check that we are building in our recruitment hubs everywhere. We are Larissa as well. No, we're not in Larissa right now. So we don't have much money. But... Hmm. I think we go for the sewers here. What is the temple? It's tax income. Let's just go for the sewers and then anywhere else. Fenike, yeah, you are building. Anywhere else can afford anything that's worthwhile. Probably not, I don't think. Probably not. But we might as well check anyway. Let's have a look around. Yeah, I don't think anywhere's really got anything worthwhile building right now. How about over here? We are building in a lot of places anyway, which is great. Oricon, maybe? No, nothing in Oricon. Like I say, all these large towns really need to expand soon. The donor... So that's why we also need to, uh, you know, enslave a few more cities so we can grow these places because they're on zero population growth right now. So, yeah, we really do. Because, because like I said earlier in the campaign, there is no fertility here. It's very low. So their base growth is so, so low. But anyway, let's end the turn there and let's see where we get up to. Like I say, if the Antigonids don't want to attack us for a little bit, that would be nice because I kind of want to force a peace with Pionia quite quickly by maybe taking Stoby and maybe selling it to the GCS or something so that they cannot, you know, get in this region. Using the GCS as a buffer state again. I mean, it's not unrealistic to do that as well, guys, because we basically treat the GCS like these city-states that are... Uh, you know, they are part of one faction, but they're all very separate. And if we just treat them and thematically see it that way, then I think that is the best thing, you know, the best way to explain it is we've liberated this city as a Greek city and they can stay there if they want. So very good. But it looks like they have declared war on Pioneer anyway. So that is fantastic. So let's get it going. They do have a pretty larger army in here now with Thracian Noble, Cavalry, Romphi Foroi, so a pretty darn good army, I've got to say. But if we can get all the way up here, we can have a little bit of a more tasty look on these guys. Let's also get this army back together. So Iskirion, we're going to go up. Uh, are we going to? Are we going to look at the Antig Antigonids? I think we wait for the Antigonids to attack us. Honestly, so it might be better just send these guys up with. Um, with um, Alexander, of course. So let's get this army in. Let's also get all the phalangites we can in there to start with. Good. Any more? Yes, five phalangites in this army. Good. Now, let's get the cavalry. I know it's mainly Prodromoi, unfortunately. But that's fine. What do we have left? Nine more uh, slots. So let's go with that. Let's go with that. And that's it. This is very brutal. Just meat stack of an army. <laughs> um, I'll probably get rid of some of the Greek hoplites, to be fair. If we can lose them in a battle, that would be good. These Akontistai are going to come around this way and join up with these troops. Ah, we did not join the Thurioforoi into this army either, did we? Hmm. Well, let's try and bring them up. 
Where else were we training them? Thought I was training... Oh, no, we were training an archer, weren't we? So, let's get that archer. That archer should at least get in the army. And I'm, honestly, I'm not going to attack them. Because do they even have siege equipment? They've got a single ram. If they try to siege down the city, that would be glorious for us. Because this army is going to come in and defend the city. And we can just run into the city and defend it, which would be amazing. Or... If this army attacks us, we can take the defensive position against their really strong uh, troops and just defend against them and try and en uh, encircle them as well. So I think we're in a pretty darn decent situation. Now let's actually s swap out some of the Greek hoplites next turn for the archers because we do need some missile troops. We'll also join this progemoy in there. Could this be the start of a new army? I think it could be. But let's also get some more Ambrachiotes in there. And do we want more Thurioforoi? Yeah, let's start training for a new army. So let's start getting another army together. We can also probably use those Prodromoi for that too. Anyone else that we've got training. So you guys, let's keep going with a couple of archers. And then these guys, let's get a Thurioforoi too. And then in Larissa, I'm assuming we're training some Acontistai. We are fantastic. Good. Well, let's have a look at our notifications. Bacaria now expands. Glorious. Now, we don't have the money for it, though. So we'll do that next turn. But fantastic. That's really good. And then a few other buildings in there. So we'll save our money. We're not making much money now. Because, of course, Athens is blockaded. Which, oh, sorry, Pella is blockaded. I don't know why I said Athens. Because of this goddamn army. But uh, Pella is blockaded. Plus... Um, yeah, plus we, uh, have retrained all our armies. Sorry, I had a massive mind blank then. I don't know why. So let's end the turn and let's uh, see what happens. So the Antigonids have decided to attack and that's a pretty darn good attack, I've got to say. Well done, Antigonids. Oh my god, they've gone, they've gone for the, they've gone for the strat. What boys, what legendary boys. So the Pionians have retreated. That actually gives us a lot of breathing room. So, oh, god damn Athens. Stop doing this, man. <laughs> like, can we attack that at all? No, we have to come all the way around this way. What are you doing, Athens? What are you doing? Stop standing there, you absolute imbeciles. Well, shall we attack them? Because I'm just sick of them just standing outside our city. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Rioting in Korkira. Okay, Korkira's fine now. I guess it's because they were at the, you know... Oh, no, they're nowhere near. Maybe because they were over the uh, threshold slightly. But well done to the Antigonids. That's a very good tactic that you have used. I'm very impressed, to be fair. And Barakia now has the Blacksmith. We could, if we had the money, go for the Armourer as well. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't have the money. And let's so let's go for the Temple of Dioscuri then. More experience to the troops. And we'll also get a, melee, um, a morale bonus. Oh, no. We need to upgrade somewhere. Where was that? Completely forgot about that already. Bakiria, which is this one. Let's get that in there because I think we can defend that quite easily. Right. Let's come over this way. This is the meat. Like, they're just the meat army. <laughs> let's get rid of the ones with no experience. You guys get out for now, and then we'll get the archers in there, S sort you all, and how has that made our movement so much less? Have they got a ram? They haven't got a ram yet. Right, we'll have to use both of these armies, I think, because we can't actually come around this way. They won't have a ram or anything yet either, though. So let's come around. Bit annoying, bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. But it's fine. Why is the population growth so bad here all of a sudden? Is there a plague or something? What has happened? Ah, because we were under siege. So, okay, that makes perfect sense. Let's get these guys in here together. Let's also bring that Thurio Foroi through. Actually, no, we're going to get that as a, an army, aren't we? Who else do we have? Got another Akontistai. Well, you can come up as a supplementary army as governors for when we take the cities over this region but well done ai that is a very very clever move because that's kind of going to cook us a little bit because we're going to have to go here 
then chain across to both of these. Hopefully then we can take Odessa Botatia, but there's no guarantee that Pionia won't just come and attack us straight away, or that this army's going to come and attack us as well. So we really need to block, like get through this army predominantly. And I'm thinking this army's going to be better taking on that one. And this army is going to be better taking on this one. Because this is a stronger army. Much better army. Um, who are we missing? Oh, Thurio Foroy. So let's bring that round. Let's also not join him next next turn. Because it stops all the movement range. So yeah, glorious. But anything to build? Probably not really. Like I say, I ideally want to build that armory in Ambrakia. But let's end the turn. And let's see whether Pionia comes back and attacks. Hmm, looking at it, I probably should have stayed up there with this army. Hmm, this is the question now, because we need to take out this one who do have rams. We also need to take out, because I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, once we've taken out this, we still can't get to this army. Although they have no siege equipment, good. So we still do have time. So Alexander, I think, is still better to go this way towards Ortizion. We'll uh, retreat from that for now. You're better to go through Ifestionas. So, yes, glorious. But let's have a look at what else yet. Still sieging down everything. Main thing is I don't want to lose um, Pella, of course. That would be very annoying. Ferai has now got up to level 2 recruitment. Fantastic. Ayana now has the uh, mine in there. We definitely don't want to lose Baroya because that's a very expensive building that we've queued in. So I'm glad they don't have any siege equipment because I likely they would uh, start, you know, sieging it down um, that turn. So yeah, fantastic. Right, let's uh, organize our troops. Let's get another Thurio Foroi. I have also put another Thurio Foroi in Pella just for now that was supposed to come and join the armies, of course. Now I think you can come up this way. We did get some more troops though. So let's get them up there too. They can just be sort of an auxiliary army just for garrisons, for anything else, dealing with rebels, anything that becomes a bit of a problem, this army can just deal with. These guys, although we wanted you to go into Alexander's army, didn't we? Yes. I don't think you'll waste the movement points too much by joining the army. So... Which, which battle do we want to do first, guys? I mean, this one's going to be constant battles because we're going to go through them, them, and then on to Edessa. So I think we go for this one and just destroy this guy. He's only a captain. He does have a lot of Prodromoi. Luckily, we do have Prodromoi in our army too. We've got a lot more cavalry. They've got two Zistaphoroi. But oh my god, no. They, do, they have loads of Prodromoi. Look how many missile troops this army has. That's just going to be quite annoying to deal with. Thurio Foroi. It is nice now, though, if we look at the uh, the armies that they have available to them. You can see that although this one has a few Chalka Speeders, clearly they cannot recruit quite so aggressively anymore the good units that they used to get. So that has been fantastic for us. Because you used to see the Thessalian Lancers in the armies and stuff like that, which is just insane. <laughs> so, yeah. And Brachia, can we build anything else? No, 8,400 for the armor. So let's save up for that. Now let's get into this battle. Hopefully it shouldn't be too hard. But with all of those missile troops, it might be more bloody than we could expect. So yeah, let's see how we do. Today, we look for a victory worthy of Hercules himself. Yes, we do. This is a mighty task, but we are men enough to do it. Of course we are. Come on, the boys. Let's go. And very likely they're going to be up on that hill. I'm going to come around the left because I don't like fighting in the trees. Even though these trees are quite easy to see through, it still makes fighting a little bit of a, a problem. I'm going to mix in the Ambrakiotes into the line so they should not all set up at the same place. Let's have a look. Because I want them mixed in with the Deuteroi. There's one Ambrakio. There's another. Good. And there's another. Yes, they are fully mixed in then. Good. Fantastic. That is what we like to see. Let's get these guys and group them together. Let's get Thurio Foroi on one flank and one on the other. Let's get the archers in behind. 
plus the Athamanians. I love the Athamanians. They're a very good unit. Let's get the general together. Get you all. And uh, let's group these boys too. And the Prodromoi can also be grouped together there. Again, mainly for chasing down the enemy. So let's come up this way. I don't care about the reinforcements. We're also not going to run. We're going to take it slow like we usually do. Uh, so we don't waste the uh, fatigue of these guys. Here we are. Nicely opposite them. Ready to get going, my friends. So, yeah, let's have a look at what we can do. I think mainly for now, let's just walk forward with these boys. In fact, we'll uh, select everyone. And we'll just do that. And just walk, and then we're going to get them to run very soon. So let's speed it up. Just walk for now. We are taking a little bit of damage from the Slingers. Now let's run. Now we're a little bit closer. Ideally, want to scare off the Peltasts and all that sort of thing away from our lines. So let's, let's try and shift slightly further left, actually. Let's go for that. So shift a little bit across. That should hopefully scare these guys away, too. I mean, ideally, if, they, uh, if they're not scared... You know, we, uh, we will just kill them like we did in the last battle. But mainly we need to look at this. Look at the Umbrakiots. How are they getting damaged so much? Come on. Really? The Slingers are that, that good, are they? Really? I very much doubt it. But let's go. And now this unit, this line. Just walk forward, men. Just walk forward. Now we've got our archers in here ready to fire at them. These guys can also fire too. So, walking forward, get you guys there. Thurio, Foroy, let's get you round this way. Same with these units. And again, we need, a, we need a, a joint line. We don't want, you know, a line that is completely all over the place. So, let's try and get our Prodromoy out this way. Our cavalry can also come round on this right-hand flank if we want. These guys can go for attacking them. Phoebes, you guys fire at those boys. This unit can uh, attack them. These guys can fire there. Thurio Foroy firing too. Fantastic. That's nice to see. Good, 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 good. Akarnanians, let's get you in that gap there. You guys keep on firing. And this should be okay. What's going on here? Who's dying so much? What are you doing, you fools? Honestly. How do you not have your fucking phalanx down? You imbeciles. Fucking hell. Oh my god, man. I'm already sick of using fucking phalangites. I fucking hate them. They are so annoying. Like, they're so good, but also so awful at the same time. Right, Prodromoy, get up there. Right. I just want to play with a nice, heavy infantry roster where we don't need to worry about whether a phalangite... Like, how are these guys... Oh, my God, they're getting charged in the back. Turn around, then. You guys face them. You fire... That's already broke the Prodromoy, though. It's destroyed this unit. There we go. That's good. We've killed that general. Right, let's get into there. These guys need to come across. You guys get around this way. Here we go. Come on. Oh, sorry for the rant about the Phalangites, guys. They are just quite annoying. That's the, that's, the, that's the problem. Like, they do so amazing one battle, and then the next battle they're just completely and utterly useless that's the that's the annoying thing with them like what is this like the guys are here just fight like fight them why are you facing this way <laughs> oh my god right let's kill all these guys anyway um we could do with those prodromoid to chase down enemies so prodromoid you get after you both get after them actually and we'll come up this way with the proper units you guys get in the fight there. You guys too. Fight them. So let's charge them. What's going on over here? Just fight. What, how did they... How were they able to do that? They fired it when we were just right in their face. Come on, man. Right, these guys can get up as well. You go deal with the Zista Foroi. Right, cavalry. Right in the back of that Thurio Foroi now. Well, what is this one? Let's just kill them. I don't give a fuck. Kill them. Just kill these fucking fools, man. Just kill them. Antigonid bastards! Fucking die! Come on, die! Just fucking die! Pricks! Honestly. Fuck you. Fuck you and your ceasefire. We are going to fucking kill you all. Honestly. Fuck you. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, boys. 
Clearly routing everyone. Easy victory. That's what you fucking get, Antigonids. You fucking pricks. Fucking die. Let's go. Prodromoi, Greek Slingers. Kill them all. Kill everyone. I want no man to survive this. I want them all to die. Send a message. Send a message. You fucking don't get away with this, Antigonids. What is this shit over here? Prodromoi dying, as usual. Against Prodromoi, no less. But have we killed enough? Have we killed enough? Not quite. So we do definitely need to run some more men down. So let's have a look. Have we got the Akarnanians chasing people down? They definitely should be. Same as these guys. Who else needs to be chased down? Mainly, oh, this is really, really tough. We may not actually get there for anyone. You guys get them. You guys maybe get them. This is really tough. We may not actually kill them all here, which is a little bit annoying. But we can try. We can try. Anyone else? Kill them all. Kill them all. I don't think we fully killed that army. I mean, it says 13%. It may be. No, I doubt it. I think they'll be slightly surviving. But good. Not a salty battle at all, guys. A very, very glorious one. Well, a glorious victory anyway. And I definitely didn't get salty, so. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Well, not a salty victory at all. A glorious one, definitely. <laughs> but I think let's cut them off. Uh, I mean, ideally, we need to just come further east. How much is left of this army, though? It's so brutally battered. We may just need to go straight back for retraining. Oh, god damn. What a brutal battle that was. Very annoying. I mean, it doesn't take us long to go back, so I think it's fine for now. So let's attack this army, and hopefully this battle is less problematic than the last one. But judging by what troops they have, <laughs> I think it's just going to be just as frustrating. So let's see. Let's get in there. Here we go. On this massive lump of a hill that is a battle map. A really cool battle map, actually. Really nice. They do have some phalangites like we've seen before, but we are going to come forward with our phalangites. I'm just slightly worried about their slingers, of course, but we should have enough cavalry to deal with them. So let's see what happens here. It looks like they're going to go for the old charge. So let's uh, get the phalanx down and then just keep walking forward. That's going to be the main thing. And then we're going to try and surround them with our hoplites getting out on the flanks here so let's bring them round to try and flank here we go let's get engaged in the fight and let's see what we can do here i think i got a feeling they're gonna withdraw you know so we're gonna get our cavalry all the way over that way just to see what we can do so let's keep coming forward these guys attack them you guys attack them too we'll come forward with this unit and the hoplites keep on going. We really want to just surround them fully over here. So let's keep coming. We've got the Prodromoi there absolutely shredding these boys. Let's get in the fight there. And let's get these three over this way to try and surround them still. And then cavalry. We're going to get all the way into the back here. And just deal with their units one by one. You guys fight them. You guys just stay there for now. You can keep firing. Sister Foroi, they should get absolutely shredded by the Phalangites. You guys engage them to keep them uh, engaged. These guys have come around this way, and now we get these two out over this way. Let's just go straight into there. I don't care about, um, you know, the Prodromoi firing their javelins off or anything. Just get in there. We should be able to route these guys relatively easily just from overwhelming numbers. There we go, all the way through them. This is actually a bit of a better battle than last time, it seems for us even though they do have good phalangites you guys get in there and we're going to try and surround this unit over here you guys get into that fight too there we go cavalry's absolutely winning the day for us here so let's uh, get this guy around this way this one is a lot easier actually this battle than the last one so prodromoi let's get you chasing down the enemy don't need you anymore we'll just use the zistaphoroi to do the rest of this so also come this way. You guys get there. Uh, you guys get around as well to try and flank them. You guys kill them. We're surrounding this unit. And we need to get you through to surround this Chalcospedes. 
So you guys get into the 304 that are withdrawing. One of you fight them instead. And are we getting hit by some javelins or something? I don't know. Interesting. You guys get in there. Fully surround them. You guys get there. Fully surround them too. And hopefully this will allow our men to just win the day. So you guys get there. Who else have we got to chase down? Probably these units. So get in there. Both of you. Both of you. Go, go, go. Let's see if we can break them again. Shaken already. Steady. Steady still. Come on. Right. How are they reloading? They're in, engaged in melee, man. Right. Kill these guys. Kill them all. Kill them all. What have we got here? Chalka Speedheads. Where's the Ambrakiotes? How are they taking so much damage, man? Against these goddamn Chalka Speedheads. Oh, this is just charged straight through the Greek Slingers. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. We won anyway. Right, go for your second charge there. And who... Yeah, they came back actually, didn't they? Let's try with the Chalka Speedheads to charge, in, to, to charge into the back of the Chalka Speedheads, should we say. Looks like they're going to get stopped a little bit. Okay, they've brought the Phalanx down, so let's get out. We'll just get absolutely moshed by that. Glorious. Okay, this was a lot better. This was a lot better battle. Now, who do we have to break left? So let's get these guys out this way. Let's get you out there. Let's get you out here too. Keep on going. And I think all we've got left are these two units. So glorious, glorious fight. This poor uh, Chalka Speed has just got absolutely shredded. You guys just form up. And uh, yeah, I think, we're, I think we're in a pretty darn good spot with this battle. Okay. This goddamn Thurio 4 will not break. But we should be close to killing them all now, which is glorious. So you guys get in your phalanx mode. You guys get here. And then hopefully we can just fully just kill this unit. Even the AI struggles with the, the Phalangites at some point. <laughs> but the Phalangites have done very well in this battle for once. For once. <laughs> you guys get there. You guys get going. And then we will crush them from the side. There we go. Get Phalanx formation now and get into these boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. We'll just absolutely crush them now. Come on. Come on. Nice. Keep going, boys. Keep going. There we go. Go on, boys. There we go. They've not even, they're not even in Phalanx formation anymore. Glorious. 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 I love seeing these guys march, you know. That's one thing I do love about Phalangites. I love seeing the march. They are amazing to watch, aren't they? Get the Progeroy back. We don't need them over there anymore. Looks like they killed that 304 right. So good. And this Chalk Speeders is now wavering. Their Chalk Speeders have just been so good, haven't they? They're now fighting to the death. Good. We should be able to kill them all. Same as these guys. Glorious victory, guys. Glorious. Well, let's end the battle there, guys. What a glorious victory. 452 they killed. But we killed 1,000. A fantastic victory for us. So let's keep going and let's see where this army can end up, whether it can end up taking Edessa or not. A glorious victory, my friends. So let's attack this unit. And they have gone into Edessa. Unfortunately, with two Chalka Speeders in there, that's not ideal for us. But we do have this other army on the way. I'm wondering whether Alexander... And it's still going to take him two turns to get there. They don't have any siege equipment here yet, though. So, yeah, this army can kind of reinvigorate this one when we want it to. So let's at least siege this down. This may also force them to return. I wonder whether they feel they're hard enough to take us on here. That would be excellent for us. But overall, yeah, this army did take an absolute battering in that, uh, in that um, battle, unfortunately. So, yeah, very unfortunate. Let's keep getting Ambrachiotes over here. We're getting another Thurio Foroi. We also need to get some more Zista Foroi too. Uh, for both armies, really. Let's also get a Prodromoi in there. And in there. And let's get maybe another Acontisti. I know we're getting a few Acontistis, but when we get to the point where we take all these cities... Uh, they've got a lot of armies there now, but when we do, <laughs> you know, it's going to be a very good thing for us to have governors or, you know, uh, garrison troops ready to go already.
So, let's end the turn. Let's see where we get to. Hopefully, we can take Odessa next turn. And then we can come through and protect our lands. And they came back and sieged down Bakiria again. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's just quite annoying. <laughs> do these guys got siege equipment yet? Yes, they do. So we 100% need to get through Odessa this turn and go over there. I think out of anything we can do right now with this army, so there's not really anything worthwhile for it to do. Let's join up these guys in there. I think this little army can deal with this. And for now, we're just going to pop it in there. And that might actually just scare them away. Yeah, three phalangites. Don't really want to deal with those guys, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, but I think, honestly, this army cannot reach anywhere. So the best thing it can do right now is probably to just get retrained again. I know it's a little bit boring. But, yeah, let's uh, let's swap these guys over. And I think, yeah, it's definitely the best thing it can do right now is go for retraining. So let's make sure that we've got... We can retrain everyone all in one turn. Let's go with that. I think that is good. There we go. That should help. And these guys in here. There we go. And still... Uh, still need to retrain more people than that. Oh, it's because it wants to retrain them for experience, I think. So let's make sure we retrain everyone who needs more troops first. So not you two. This Ambrachio, this Athamanian. Then there's the Athamanian and the Thurio for it, and the Ambrachio. Uh... Oh, we don't need that Greek archer. We don't really need that Greek archer retrained either, do we? So let's get the Thurioforoi and get the Ambrachiot and then the Athamanian. Oh, there's the Prodromoi too. So anyone else we can combine. Oh, of course. More Ambrachiots. Combine those together. There we go. That definitely helps. So... Then we can retrain everyone apart from the Prodromoi. So we don't need that one to be retrained. There we go. We can retrain everyone properly. Good. Fantastic. Rioting in Argos Arresticon. Let's get that down to slightly lower then. We don't need it on so high. So, of course, they are still sieging us down. This really has been a horde from the north that has come down <laughs> to attack us from Macedon. And look how many troops they've still got available to them right now. It is insane, guys. It is insane. <laughs> but I think we've done a good job of protecting ourselves here. So we need to win this battle. We need to do it as well on the battle map. Because if we don't do it on the battle map, we 100% will take so many losses here. Luckily, now we do have a couple of archers... That is 100% going to help us. So let's get into the battle and kill Giras. So we are breached the gates, guys, and we are here. I'm going to try not to be so salty in this battle. <laughs> I know I said that a little bit ago, but... <laughs> oh, what do you expect when you, uh, when you come and click on a Red Z video, guys? Good times and salt. <laughs> oh, it's just in our nature being British, you know. A bit of saltiness. A bit of, a bit of saltiness in there. It's definitely baked into all British people, um, I've got to say. But, uh, yeah, I do love it. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong as well, guys. Like, don't misunderstand me. When I'm being salty, it means that I care. Like, <laughs> it's not me, like shitting on the mod or the game or anything like that this is one of my favorite games of all time and i'm playing one of my favorite mods of all time i am absolutely loving it but uh yeah i, I will still get salty that you know that doesn't preclude me being salty as well so uh yeah <laughs> it's still gonna happen but um like i say just don't misunderstand that for uh, uh for me disliking the experience or anything I know I said that I did say that I hated phalangites. I mean, I mean that's no, that's not true. I don't hate phalangites. I just uh, find them tough 
to use most of the time. They can be frustrating. That is mainly their issue, I think. So we're going to get this guy in there once we get going. And just to block off whatever this is, Chalka Speeders. Yeah, so they will beat us in a fair fight. But I intend not to make this a fair fight. And Siege Battles, Siege Battles are so much better when... Um, you know, when uh, when, the, when the enemy decides to come off the town square. When they just stand on the town square, it can be a little bit repetitive. But let's just uh, block off. Let's get rid of this Akontistai, and then we'll be good. Here we go. The Chalka Speeders have engaged. So let's come forward. Let's see whether we can stop them. We're also going to block off anyone else from coming to try and help them. We've also got our guys around this way too. I'm getting my general around that way as well. And hopefully we can send guys every single which way that they will go. You guys need to attack them. You guys need to get into Phalanx formation now. I mean, ideally, a better line would be good. But staying like that, that's fine. Well, let's come. I don't know why they do this. There we go. That's better. Actually get into a line. That's fantastic. We're absolutely shredding them now. Oh, there we go. They turned around again. Absolutely ruining them. That's what we like to see, boys. That's what we like to see. Glorious phalangites working well. Oh, hello. Shit. <laughs> I didn't even notice this. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Phalanx. There we go. Phalanx, guys. Phalanx. There we go. Halt. Fight them. Get in. Phalanx. Phalanx, my friends. There we go. That's better. Now we've got these guys around this way as well. Let's see whether we can push through maybe a little bit. Also got the archers on, on standby. These archers, what are these guys doing? I mean, they probably won't be able to attack them. So I'm wondering whether we go forwards with... I mean, you guys get around that way. Let's get you running. Same with you. You guys, let's get you up this way to try and deal with the general. I don't really care if you have to run through the old men. And you guys get there. These guys, you can try and just push them back. Should be nice and easy. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, you are just hop, you are just hoplites. I was going to say, please stop getting out of Phalanx. We're also going to bring our general nearby. Should hopefully push them back a little bit better. Yeah, I love the siege battles when they don't just stand on the town square. It makes them so much more dynamic. So much more interesting. Um, which is really good. Where is this archer, right? This archer can come around this way because this is probably the best place to fire onto the town square. Yes, come on, the boys. Come on, the boys. Kill them all. Kill them all, of course. Kill them all. Here we go. Come on. Kill them. Get rid of them. The slingers should be nice and easy for you. Shaken, not stirred. There they go. There they break. There they break, my friends. There they break. Get these guys up this way. They could actually come down and threaten us down here, but that should be fine. How is this this unit? Halt. Just get make sure everyone's got their phalanx down. This phalanx is a lot better, a lot more stable than the other one. Yeah, there's still 88 men, though. They've not really lost too many men for no reason, which is good. Keep on coming, guys. Keep on coming. Yeah, get the phalanx down. There we go. That's better. That's a better attack, my friends. That's a better attack. Where are the archers? Let's bring them around this way. Oh, hello. Hello, Phalangites. That's fantastic. Let's uh, try and bait them. Go for the old switcheroony. You guys get Phalanx down. Let's get a wide formation if we can. Get there. This should really mess them up because they shouldn't want to be around that square. That's actually messed us up. Oh, <laughs> great. There we go. Let's fight. That's not the best formation, my friends. But it's better than nothing. <laughs> it's better than nothing. So if we can, like, sneak past them and get there, that would be great. These guys, luckily I haven't messed this up. Let's keep on marching down here. Let's also have the phalanx on. Same with you. Let's come down. Let's bring these guys along too. Don't run. Just walk. And, yeah, we're doing a good job against that mercenary hoplite. Good. Our phalanx here is probably going to lose. We need to make sure these guys actually surround them. If I can get the archer here, though, that would be amazing. So once they're there, let's just turn them like that. There we go, guys. There we go. Don't run across that way. I don't know why you have to go all the way to that wall 
to stand here, but fine. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on, boys. There we go. Fire. 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 Nice. Nice. Good. Nice. Come on, the boys. Let's go. Here we go. Fantastic. Here comes the general. Absolutely shredded, my friends. Right, you guys charging too. Charge, everyone. Charge. Glorious. Glorious charges. Yes. Are you actually firing? That's the main thing. I want to make sure you are. Okay. They kind of are. Good. Nice. That should really help us out. It's not killing very, very many, is it? <laughs> like, take you off fire at will and actually fire. Yes. I mean, it's killing a few. It's probably helping out quite a bit. How do we have the town square? Wait, have we got... What? How? How is this guy... <laughs> yes! What a man! The officer for this unit. <laughs> what a beast. He's just like walking on the town square like, mine, mate, mine. Don't need to worry about this fight. Don't need to worry about that at all, mate. Sorted, mate. Oh, on the town square. Fantastic. Absolutely glorious. He's just, <laughs> he's just chilling. What a fucking legend. I love that. <laughs> I absolutely love that. What is going on here? This is an absolute mosh pit. No one seems to be fighting each other. If we can kill that general, these guys will definitely rout. But I'm so glad. Thank you, man. He's just chilling, man. He's, he, he looks so hard. He's just going across. <laughs> Look how hard I am, mate. Absolutely hard as nails, mate. I don't need to fight. I just walk and take the city. Easy, mate. Right. Well, let's ignore that those words were ever spoken by me. But let's, um, let's get these guys off that and get running so we can stop these guys trying to get back to the town square. wonder how many... They definitely are firing. It's not doing as much damage as I would expect, to be honest. Yeah, these guys are dying. It's because your officer's gone, man, isn't it? Okay, they don't like that. They don't like the archers anymore. <laughs> Looks like they want to go for an attack on the archers. So uh, let's get out of there. <laughs> Skidaddle. Skidaddle, my friends. Skidaddle. No, don't. Don't try and engage them, you dickheads. <laughs> uh, right. You guys get there. We'll get the Phalangites over here, ready to fight. There we go. That's good. Oh, hello. They're stuck in there as well. Nice. Right. This is going to be even worse position to fire at them from because it's right from the front. But it should allow our guys to, like, you know, actually attack them properly. This will be a better shot if they get this volley off. Right in the back. There we go. That's better. That's what we like to see. Well done, guys. Right. Get the general over here. Fantastic. You guys kill the last of the Greek slingers. And let's get this unit in here ready to fight. Go on, the boys. Well, I think we're done, guys. Let's end it there. What a glorious victory. Well, this is a brutal battle. Look at the vigorousness of the phalangite battle here. Completely brutal. But we are doing a lot of damage to these boys. So well done, guys. Well done. Doing really well. Fantastic. And still the officer is somewhere over here, or he was five seconds ago. I have no idea where he is, but glorious. All due to Officer Chad. <laughs> Just taking the town square. What a man. <laughs> Let's end the battle there, guys. And we killed more than double. Uh, well, yeah, more than double than what we lost. So a glorious victory in the end. I will see you back on that campaign map. And again, let's just occupy Odessa. Quite a decent little minor city. So quite nice for us just to occupy that. But like I say, I do need to enslave a few more places. We might enslave a few of these minor cities. Although they are going to be very, very useful. Especially if we can see how much population they have. All that sort of thing. But this episode truly has been the race to Pella, hasn't it, my friends? <laughs> the race to Pella. And do we win that race? I do not know in the end. We won't know. I think we leave behind this Greek hoplite. Could we combine it with a few others? So if I combine there, 22. And there. So 12 Greek hoplites. Like I say, these guys are not useful. So getting rid of them is actually not too bad. And let's make sure we definitely repair those walls. 
Hmm. So I'm wondering now if the best thing to do is just to come here. So that if they do siege it down, we'll be pulled in. Rather than worry about this. Although they do have a ram there. So let's go and attack it. And when, now we can go around this way and attack this army. Oh, fantastic. Glorious, in fact, should we say. Glorious, 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 my friends. Glorious! Let's go. Let's kill them. Captain Maligros. Mr. Maliga, Captain. And then we got a Zistaforoi and a Prodromoi Captain, too. This is the one thing with this army. It is not very strong with the cavalry. Especially with two generals and Zistaforoi. So we've got an absolute infantry block. <laughs> but the cavalry, not so good. So let's see what we can do then. I think we can still beat them. Ideally, I want to kill these other two armies as well. But I'm not going to do something stupid like wait for them this time. Well, it's not stupid. It's, it's very useful in certain situations. But in this situation, I don't care about these other little armies. They're just tiny little armies. I just want to make sure we can fully kill this one. So let's go after them. Let's see. How many of us who look upon this door A few, maybe. <laughs> I tell you, the sons of Greece will see the dusk. I mean, and will be triumphant. aren't they sons of Greece as well? <laughs> The one good thing about this battle is the fact that they have so little infantry means that we can have a really thin front line and fully surround this army, like fully encircle it if we want to. We do have also these guys ready to come in, but I don't think they're going to be, uh, you know, needed in this battle. I have sent this unit off away from the battle, so maybe they'll send in a useful unit like the general's bodyguard because that definitely is useful for us. So we're going to get him across. But everyone else, less useful for us than anything. I think this is just like literally just peltasts and stuff. So let's get these boys around this flank. For now, we'll actually just go that side. And then these guys can just come this side too. Archers should be firing now. So let's come forward. Ready to fire on some more. And I do want to combine the cavalry for now just on one flank also get the phalanx down at the right time. Good. Finally, we managed to do it at the right time. <laughs> well, they do have two generals bodyguards, so we do need to be wary of that. So now here comes the infantry. Looks like they're going to go for a little Thurio Foroi flank. But uh, our cavalry should be more than powerful enough to get around here. Good. Now we've got this general too. So we should have plenty of cavalry. Looks like the other armies are coming in in drips and drabs. So that's fine by me. Let's try and pulverize that infantry. Okay, this is just a bit of a mess here. I don't know what this is. Why don't you phalanx, you imbeciles, honestly? Here comes the general. Let's try and surround him. What are our units, our hoplites just going? Why are you so scared? What are you scared of, my friends? Unhappy overtaking casualties. What's this? Right, let's get rid of the Zistaforo. It should be nice and easy for us. So let's just go for them. And then we can maybe surround this and destroy them. So let's bring these guys forward. Why did you get stuck like that? That's very annoying. One of you can go that way. One of the generals is running away. That's fine. No problem. Prodromoy over there. We got rid of that Zistaforo. Let's just come out of the fight for a little bit and just see what we're dealing with. Prodromoy and Zistaforoi. I mean, I don't mind if a Prodromoy... That's the Zistaforoi in the fight, though. I don't want to fight them. So you guys need to come around. And now we can turn, and I want to focus on the Zistaforoi. There we go. That should be a good charge for us, even though it was on the turn. That should be fine. These guys are dealing over here. This guy has now started routing. So, I mean, I guess... A Skirion does not have the best morale out of all the guys that we're ever going to fight. But we still should be winning this, definitely. We should be winning that really easily, actually. But it looks like we're getting a bit shredded. But our cavalry here should 100% win this. Is this the Fori coming back into the fight? I don't mind that. It's going to be a bit annoying. But if we can get rid of the Zistafori. Come on, guys. 
How are we losing so badly with our general's bodyguards in there? The general's bodyguards are getting shredded when they are clearly by far so much better than the Zistaphoroi. Come on. Right, kill this Thurioforoi. Don't give a fuck about them. Shoot these guys. Kill them. Kill them. You guys come forward too. So we're going to bring you forward. How is the cavalry doing? Keep coming. Keep coming, men. Keep coming. Just run. Just run. Just run. Run away. Run away. You fools. Run away. Run away. So we can hopefully get them all individually. That'd be ideal. But what are you guys? You are the two Prodra boy. Let's maybe see if we can lead them off. And then we can deal with this, this, this sister four, right? So let's kill them. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Who did I just get to attack then? I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, this is a little bit better. We're in a better situation now than we were before. Because this Uzono is getting absolutely shredded. Let's go for the charge over here. And let's see if we can get rid of that Thurio 4, right? No! Askirion is dead! No! How did he get so shredded, man? Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. This is awful. Like, all our guys might start routing, even though we have, like, really, really good uh, troops here. So we just need to be very careful now about our morale. Keep all of our troops together. And make sure we're doing the right moves, you know. So, these guys, let's see if we can get them out this way. Let's also see if we can get the, that hop, uh, this th this guy here. We're also going to, yeah, these guys get in there. That unit's breaking, but that's fine. We should still be good. Is it all of them guys? Yeah, they were withdrawing. Okay. I mean, honestly, like, I was playing them. They would be, you know, a lot better, I would say. Like, I would not withdraw from this. I feel like, you know, we've got a good... They've got a good, you know, uh, battle off on us there. Killed our general. Absolutely demolished half of our troops, especially our cavalry. So I was just a bit... I was a bit done with the cavalry, really. I thought... Well, we had three units of full units of Prodromoi. One Zistaphoroi and two generals. And they could not take out a single Zistaphoroi and a uh, Prodromoi. Uh... Yeah, a single Zistaphoroi and Prodromoi. Which is just embarrassing. Come on, man. That's stupid. That is dumb. I think it's partly because the general is just so bad. But, yeah, that's just really annoying. <laughs> but, yeah, we're not getting salty. These things happen, and we are also going to win. So I'll uh, let you know when we've won, guys, and that'll be glorious. Okay, somehow we've killed both of their generals. I don't know. I, apparently, there was a hop. There was a general in there that was an actual general. That's so weird. I did not expect that. <laughs> but fine. <laughs> Glorious. Now we just need to clean these boys up and we're good. Let's go. Nice. Well, I mean, you win some, you lose some, don't you, guys? And they killed, what, 500, uh, 582? We killed 717. And ultimately, what have we done? We have saved Pella from its fate. A glorious victory then, even if Iskirion did die. He was useless. Useless bastard. But uh, yeah, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. He was fine. There were some great victories that he won. And ultimately, he died protecting Pella from the Antigonid Horde. So glory to the name of Iskirion of Korkira. What a man. We just need to find a new general now. Well, it seems the race to save Pella has been won by us. Oh, it wasn't actually Iskirion who died. It was the other guy who was in here. Oh, that's great then. So, uh, I mean, we don't need the one uh, Greek hoplite. We probably also don't need the Prodromoi in an offensive siege. So I'm going to get these guys across. Why wouldn't, what, why wouldn't you go across? I'm also going to... Get a mercenary to join this army again. Let's get some mercenaries. Neocretan archers, definitely. That's all we've got money for. Uh, we probably need more infantry if we're going to fight these guys with their really good infantry. But let's have a look. Do we have any good phalangites? I mean, we've still got a couple of units that are pretty darn decent. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's fine. 
We're going to get you to go back somewhere where you can retrain. Likely here is the best place. What about Larissa? Yeah, you should be able to retrain in Larissa. Fortunately, can't reach there this turn. But let's also retrain everyone we can here. Now, we don't have those barracks. That's the main... What? Why can we... Apparently, we can't train Greek hoplites on that. We can't train them there either. What? Level 3? Yeah, we have to go to level 3 to retrain our hoplites here. Well, that's interesting. I did not realize that. But uh, Cry Solorus, he defended um, Pella. He died doing so. And Iskirion is now a confident commander. Let's have a look at his stats then. He's venal. He is considerate and pessimistic. He's hardened now, which is great. Plus one valor. Well supplied. Calm, devout, flaccid, unfortunately. Interested in linguistics. Interested in sciences as well. Nice. Popular general. Awesome. Yeah, good. Disinherited. Yeah, we did disinherit him. Oh, oh sorry about that. Prudent despoiler. And enemy treasury captured. So, yeah, he's got a load of movement points. Plus one morale. And a little bit of extra construction trade. All that sort of thing is good. But, yeah, more hit points and more bodyguard valor too. And more battle surgery. Good. So, a decent general nonetheless. Now, I'm hoping they they uh, will uh, siege us down. Because, honestly, even if I lose Pella in this siege... In this defensive siege, I feel like we will like pretty much wipe out these armies. So, yeah, I don't mind that. Rather than a field battle with the Thracians, which, to be honest, a field battle with the Thracians is a little bit scary with the quality of armies we have. Because they have armor-piercing... Like, even their Peltas are armor-piercing. So, we are just going to like lose against them in every single way. But anyway, guys, let's end it there. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.